Okay, what's going on today, guys? In this video, I'm going to show you how to take your TH9X with ER9X firmware on it or your Tyrannus radio. And I'm going to show you how to take this timer switch right here, which you have on this one and on the Tyrannus. And when you pull this, it's going to start the motors on your DJI 550. You will no longer have to pull the sticks down and together. So let's get partying on this. So as you can see, I have ER9X on this. Very simple. Okay, so... I'm going to try to do the best I can to keep this in the picture for you guys So, because I'm holding my iPad and I have to do this with one hand. So what we're looking for is when you pull the sticks down and together, this is what starts your quad, usually. Now, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to pull the switch and it's going to look exactly the same. This is what we're going to set up. So when you pull the switch, you get the same thing as pulling the sticks down and into the center. All right, are we ready? Here we go. Now, like I said, I'm going to try to do the best I can on this. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go into our mixes. And there's going to be four mixes. As you can see, there's one right here. It says R-100 full TRN. The TRN stands for your, uh, for your timer switch. There's going to be one on your aileron. There's going to be one right here on your elevator. There's going to be one right here on your throttle. And there's going to be one right here on your rudder. So let's go back to the top. And I'll try to keep this in. Whoops, sorry about that. As best we can. Now, I'm trying to keep this in the picture the best we can. Okay, here we go. So I'm just going to edit this. Now, what you'll have to do is you'll have to come down and insert this. So you'll have to do this on all four times. I'm just going to edit it so I can show you what's going on. So here we go. So hit your, hit your button. Your first one is going to be... Your source is going to be full. I'm trying to keep this in the picture the best I can. Minus 100 on your weight. Come down. Find your uh, your timer switch. There will be all kinds of switches here. You want to find the timer switch. That is your TRN switch. You want to come down here and replace and hit exit right here. That's all you got to do on the first one. On the second one is going to be your elevator. Same exact thing. Same exact thing. Hit your menu button. Whoops. I hit the wrong. I hit exit. I hit, I hit the exit button. Sorry about that. Let's get the right button this time. You're, oh, man. I hit it again. I'll be down. Like, what the hell? Let's see if I can't get it this right. All right. There we go. Instead of that, you're going to have to come down and insert this. You're going to have to make this. So, there we go. I'm just going to edit it. Okay, your, your source will be full. Your weight will be minus 100. Come down again. Find your, your timer switch and replace it. Hit, it. hit exit. The next one will be on your throttle. Again, the same thing. Let's try to get the right button this time. Again, insert this. Don't edit it. Your weight will be full. Your, I'm, I'm sorry, your source will be full. Your weight will be minus 125. And again, your timer switch. And then again, replace. Hit enter. And then the last but not least will be your rudder. Now this one's different, so you got to pay attention to this one. Hit the edit button. Oh, man, I'll be damned if I didn't do it again. Sorry about this, guys. I'm trying to hold this damn iPod and iPad and, and get this. Let's, there we go. Okay, again, insert this. I'm just going to edit it for the time for the time being. Your source will be full. Now, this has to be a plus 100. As you can see, I'll back this up. And there's minus. So this has to be a plus 100. Sorry about the mistakes, guys. Again, come down. Get your switch, your timer switch, replace it, hit and hit, hit exit. And that is it, gentlemen. We'll come all the way back out to the main page. And when you're done, when you pull that timer switch, it should look just like that. If it don't look like that, you've done something wrong. But that is how it works. From now on, you'll be able to start your, uh, your DJI, your NASA 550 uh, without having to pull the sticks down into the center. It's much easier. You'll love this. I love it. It took me a long time to figure it out. But I got it. So there you go. Have a good one.